Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Via, and today I'm going to be showing you how I edit my GFXs. And this is a tutorial for if you're editing your GFXs from YouTube, Instagram, or wherever, or for yourself, or whatever you need. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your GFX. So I'm just going to click open image and then get the GFX that I made. And I made this ahead of time so that I wouldn't have to do anything. So I'm going to click new layer and I'm just going to click empty layer. And now I'm going to just save that for later. So you're going to take your background and since if you made a transparent one like I did, if, you, if your model is outside, then I'm just going to click aesthetic wall sky paper. Oh my gosh, that was very... That was said wrong. Aesthetic sky wallpaper. Um, and you are going to find one that you like if yours is outside. And I'm just finding a simple background because um, I did not put an HDRI that I liked for this one. And I just find this a lot easier. I'm just going to copy the image and paste it. And since it's almost halfway like that, I'm just going to click that and drag it over. And then we are going to lock this because I think that's a good idea. Alright, so now that we've got our background done, we're going to click this and we're going to click it on the new layer. And first, we are going to start off with some shading. I'm going to click the brush and make sure it's set at 40, and then I'm going to make the color black. And for shading, it's really simple. You're just going to trace the outline of your character. simply shade it with the brush and I know it looks very black right now but it will look shaded and it will look cool. So I'm going to shade the dog in my GFX too. If you have an animal in your GFX that you want to shade then please feel free to because I think that shading the animals is a good and I'm just going to I'm sorry The truth is I'm freaking out everything I love I'm losing And if you want to shade anything else then you can do that now Every time I come I'm just shading parts of the tree and this dog here because you don't want to leave this dog Alright, so I shaded some of the background, including the trees and the dog and my character, and then now we're going to click overlay and make it an overlay. And then we are going to go to filter, details, then blur. And I like to put it all the way up to 100, but that is everyone's call and preference, and then turn the opacity way down to 45. And now we have um, our GFX shaded, and I think it looks really cute now. So the next thing we are going to do is I'm just going to find a sparkle overlay. Because I love sparkles, and I really like this one. So we're just going to copy the image, and of course, credits to the original owner of this overlay. And I'm just going to drag it over everything, then click that and click screen, that's normal. You can click overlay if you want, but then it will create it, make it like that. Lighter is also another option, but screen is your best bet. And I add sparkles to a lot of my GFXs since I think sparkles are really cute, and I really like them, and copy and pasting them and placing them in the corners, so 
saves you a lot of hassle of having to erase them off your character. I like to turn down the opacity of my overlays since that it turns it down and makes it look more aesthetic. <laughs> But it is a preference choice, so if you like the current look of your overlay, then you can keep it. So now that I've added my sparkle overlays, it's time for the fun part where um, I will make it look brighter and more happy. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put brightness and contrast. And I'm going to put the... Oh, wait. I just... So you're going to click on the background and then click adjustment and then click brightness and contrast and brighten it up because it's a sunny day and I like to make the contrast negative one just for a little bit of um, temperature I like to make it a little bit of some sun tint I like to make it a little bit of a pink so I normally do negative tint then in adjustment you're going to click the saturation here if you want to make it a certain color you can add it a little bit Make it a little bit. Just an effect so six is good for me. But you're making me nervous, Actually, I like two so I And the, you can play and around with the saturation. And the light honestly just makes it brighter and more happy. And it makes it. Like, and exposure is honestly just the same makes it brighter and I like to put my exposure at 15 for energy so now that we've added our filter and I think that this is a much more efficient way of adding filters since that it just makes it more custom now we're going to go to filter and click inner glow we're going to go to feather side and turn down and it kind of adds just a little bit of edging to your GFX I really like it. so now we are going to click on text and give it a watermark and I normally for my watermark just write um, my name my channel name or my regular name actually for this purpose I think I'm going to write my name since it will make it look a little bit more and for text, what I simply do is click on the text, then click select all pixels, and then rasterize layer. Then click the gradient, and then make it custom color. And I really like doing green and pink, since green and pink are my favorite colors right now. And I also love pink and purple and pink and blue. Those are two great combos. And I'm just going to layer the text like that. And then click on Okay. So now that we have that, we are going to now click on filter, inner glow and click it to a dark pink. I like to make it a hot pink because I think it just looks a lot better. And turn the opacity down to 40. Then what we're going to do is we're going to click outline and then pick a color for your outline. And I do a double outline and I feel like it makes it a lot more cute. Now we're gonna go to filter and click outline and Click a slight more of a color and I like to do light pink and then there you go now you've got your text but look, I kind of want to change down the opacity and more of the effects on it so let's just change that so I'm going to click on my text
I'm gonna zoom it out so I can tilt it and just position it in a place that you like. And then I like to turn down the opacity to 66. Because I feel like when you turn it down, it always makes it feel a little bit more complete. over top everything so that I can move it and access it better and then I'm just gonna click it on the head because I like to make sure it is watermarked and then um, now we are finished editing it but if you want to add a little bit more of anything then you're much welcome to and once I add my watermark I like to give it a little bit more exposure and so adjustments, exposure, and go to nine, adjustments, and I like to add a little bit more brightness, just to make it match everything off of what we just added. So now we're going to go to Alright, and that is how um, I edit my GFXs. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day, everyone.